Murchison contains pre-solar stardust. That means it's older than the solar system itself. <laughs> It is very valuable because it uh, it is a time capsule from the early solar system. It's 4.6 billion years old and hasn't changed much since it formed. The Murchison meteorite is a carbonaceous chondrite, a carbon-rich uh, meteorite. Uh, it's a very rare type of meteorite. Only 4% of the meteorites that fall today to Earth uh, are carbonaceous chondrites. The meteorite came from a carbon-rich asteroid, uh, probably from the outer asteroid belt. It traveled uh, more than a million years uh, until it reached Earth. The total mass that finally landed on Earth and what was recovered was about 100 kilograms. So much of the mass was lost in the atmosphere upon atmospheric entry. And that was like the largest uh, meteorite of that type that ever landed, not only in Australia, but worldwide on the whole planet. It's a whole mixture of different compounds. So on one hand, you have the dark uh, organic matter that sits in the fine-grained matrix, in the uh, essentially ground mass of the meteorite. Um, these are all kinds of organic compounds from amino acids, sugar-related compounds, alcohols, and uh, other acids. Some of those were uh, can be considered as the prebiotic chemistry that got delivered early in the early days of Earth's history. We study Murchison almost every week uh, in different labs around the world and every year at scientific conferences people present new results from Murchison. Uh, it keeps on giving and uh, we get more information out and uh, um, it's really something that every collection at the museum and or university who studies meteorites wants to have. At the first sight, it looks not very spectacular. If you look at it closer, it is actually a sample of our galaxy in a way. It is extremely valuable.